Hold on, let's, let's run that back. Let's run that back. What's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome back to the to the Glass Cast, it's episode one. Technically, it'd be welcome too because we can't welcome welcome them back to something oh. they've never been to. Oh, well, sorry guys. Sadly, we've been here. We've we've been here five times. So, but anyways, yeah, the fifth episode for us. <laughs> the, fifth, the fifth episode. Oh, anyways, man. anyways, welcome everybody. Hope you're all having a safe and uh, productive, maybe quarantine. Uh, my That's name right. is Hunter, Hunter aka uh, Peacock OTG, and uh, this is my co-host. Gesture. Also, no. <laughs> I thought you were going to introduce me. <laughs> I, I was going to, but but then I I want you to get. All right, I'm Peacock. The gesture. gesture. I mean, you guys can call me Jay. You call him Jay, you call me Hunter, or you call me Peacock. Everyone calls me Peacock. I don't know why, but I just ran with it. That's why I changed my name. Uh, oh, actually, that's my last name, I so it. I know why, but anyways. I anyway, it, guys, <clears throat> I dig it too. It's a little professional, but all right, guys. So uh, this is our first episode of the podcast. Um, as you see, it's filmed digitally. Um, we yeah. have plans. If 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 depends on how the world works out in the next couple months, but we do have plans to do physical editions of this. But <clears throat> as of right now, I'm in my bedroom. Jake's in his streaming room. That's right. So <clears throat> we're gonna talk about a lot of things today. Uh, Jake's got all our topics written down, but um, I just want to start by saying, you know, um, we've been doing a lot of things lately with the brand, and I just want to say I appreciate everybody lately for all the support and everything. Uh, everything's been pretty dope. And, you know, we, we play to keep rolling stuff out as time goes on. But, yeah, uh, Jake, you got anything you want to add to that? No, nah, man, I think uh, we got some really big things coming, you know. Um, we've done some pretty big things already here recently um, that we'll be diving into here in this episode of the podcast. And I think this is going to be the year, man. You know, we've been saying 2020 is going to be a movie. And I think we're finally in the prologue, you know. We're getting out of the prologue, yeah. really. We're getting into chapter one, you know. So. Chapter one. I'm excited. Man. What I, I'm I'm ready. Me personally, I'm just glad. Well, hold on. How do I wear this? I'm I'm excited to really start a new chapter in my life. Mm-hmm. Um, and we'll we'll get into we'll we'll get into everything later. But <clears throat> you know, I feel like I'm really entering a new a new phase in my life, and um, it all starts off the glass. Um, and uh, we just we we got a lot of things coming. We got a lot of things coming. You know, every, everyone says that, but. 100%. We got we got a lot of stuff coming, stuff on the way, stuff that we've started working on, stuff we started talking about, um, and it's 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 gonna be a good year. I, I think I think this might be one of the best years of our life. Oh yeah, um, no doubt. Yeah, well, 2020 started off rough, but I I think there's still a little bit of room there, you know, for improvement. <laughs> there always is room for improvement. So, That's right. anyways, <clears throat> so we'll talk about you want to talk about this. We'll talk about this virus first. Yeah, man. Let's. I don't. Uh, Georgia's opening back up, though. Georgia's so, uh, already far, opened up. As, yeah, as far as here, because we went to, we had to go to Hobby Lobby today. So stores, mm-hmm. a lot of retail stores, the malls back open here. Uh, a lot of the rest, not all of the restaurants, but a lot of the restaurants are starting to take um, like dine in guests again. I um, mean, they're mm-hmm. they they have certain restrictions and precautions protocols that they're following, but life is slowly. Yeah. Seems like it's starting to go back to normal, you know. Yeah, hopefully we uh, hopefully history doesn't repeat itself and we get a we get a wave too, like like the Spanish yeah, flu dude. back in the day. But I know that's what know, I keep it's, seeing is it's supposed to be uh, coming back. We're gonna have to deal with it every year. But of course, hopefully not uh, ever as bad. But they're saying it's yeah. gonna be like a seasonal. If, if, if what I read was correct, they're saying it's gonna be a seasonal thing, like the flu, basically from now on. But but once you once you get it, you know, you should I don't I don't think you can get it again unless I'm mistaken. I don't know if you know anything about that, but I've heard, uh, I've heard I, yeah, I've I've heard if you get it once, yeah, you can't really get it again. So that's why like people were talking about I think I think I saw people discussing that maybe Trump said it or maybe I don't know, but someone said that we should just open up the country, let everybody go to normal. And just let everybody get sick and let whoever dies dies, and then nobody, <laughs> no, literally, literally, that's what I say. And then, and then, literally, oh everyone's already got it or they're dead, so nobody can get it again. That's what that's what like, politicians were saying. And like, oh my god, like, like I get it. Like, you know, 
I, it's not a completely terrible idea. I mean, it's obviously a very terrible idea, but yeah, I mean, it makes sense. But I was reading, it, I'm like, we're fucked, man. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, bro. There's no, no doubt. way. No doubt. Like, there's no way. If I, I, all I know is I, I, I cannot. I, I can't take a test, dude. I'm, not, I. I can't get nothing stuck in my nose. Dude, I don't know. If, I don't know if they have to do that anymore. Do they? There's supposed to be a faster test. Maybe I, again, I'm not a doctor I, or anything. I, 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 don't, I don't know anything. Like I'm, I but hope there is. I think I know my supervisor, she had to go get a test and it was early on. So they did the thing where they stick it up your nose. She mm. said it was like the worst thing ever, bro. Yeah. Cause like, what, they uh, literally you... go all the way up into your brain, dude. Yeah. Like, that's, it was, that's what... ugh, I couldn't do you it. Know, bro. <laughs> legacy, legacy. He had pneumonia. Yeah, and he had to get tested, bro. He said, like, Dude. he said that shit. That shit put him out for the rest of the day. Like, he just had to go home and sleep. Oh, I can't even like, just thinking about it. Like, oh, uh, dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't, that, bro. I can't, bro. I, I'm gonna be real, bro. I can't even. I can't even really pick my nose, bro. Like, I. <laughs> I'm just be honest, bro. Like, I can't. I can't. I can't have nothing up in my nose like that, bro. I feel you, dude. I, I can't. I, I don't know. But I mean, if I have no choice, I have no choice. You know. You're right. I mean, if, it comes, yeah, if, it, I, if I if I have to take a test, like, but I, but like, if my dad walked in right now and told me, "Hey, you gotta go take a corona <laughs> test. You went to the gym today, bro." I tell you, bro, I just I just leave, bro. I don't know where I go. I can go sleep in my truck, but. <laughs> I, I tell him, man, straight to your face. I'm like, bro, I'm not, I'm not getting tested, dude. Y'all can lock me in my room. I don't care. I'm I not, feel you on that one, dude. I'm not, I'm not getting tested. If I got to, I got to, but I can't, dude. I can't. Um, mm-hmm. Let's talk about Albany for a second. Albany. Home sweet home. <laughs> Albany. That's Albany. What you Albany. Call it, bro. Yeah. Man, I, I can't even. You know, I, I, I can't lie, man. I, I stopped claiming Albany a long time ago. I'm I don't reclaim really anything to get right out now, of here, dude. I'm waiting for the day. I'm waiting yeah, for every, the day. You know, sometimes like I'll do something, I'll do something kind of good, and then someone will be like, "Oh, you're putting on for the two two nine." I'm like, "Man, <laughs> all due respect, I'm not two two nine. Ain't did nothing for not me. <laughs> but they ain't do nothing but I'll take things the, from me. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I'll, I'll be any. I'll be any got hit the hardest, probably. Yeah, it is pretty insane. Of, Albany, Georgia, if you don't know, that's that's where we are sadly from. Uh, Albany is is it, it's a rough place, but you know, we're we're coined the good life city. Um <laughs> I don't know who coined I, that one, bro. I, I don't know, bro. I, I will I will say, I will say, given everything, I will say Albany is not that bad as it's made out to be. I mean, it's, it. it's rough. It, it, it could be it, worse, you know. It could it, it could, could be, be worse. worse. But Albany is very damn unlucky. Um, yeah. You know, we, I think, what, three years ago, tornadoes yeah, 20, ripped through Albany. Yeah, 2018, two years ago. Yeah, and like the year after, there was more tornadoes yeah. that went through. And then there was some hurricane damage and, and uh, something else happened. And, and then, you know, we have a little, someone died. And there's a little funeral. Next thing you know, the whole city has coronavirus. Yeah, that was insane, bro. Like, <laughs> but. It happened. Yeah. And we don't have it yet. So we're good. Thank but, God. Yeah. So I, I don't know the numbers. I'm not pulling up the numbers. All I know is Albany per capita at one point was the worst city in the country. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Wor- one, of the wor- one of the worst cities in the world. Yeah, I from, think it was like number population. three in the world or something, bro. Yeah. From population corona, it was terrible. But um, I don't know. I, I The mayor, I would say the mayor, Bo. Um, I don't know if you ever seen him or met him. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I worked at a gym in Albany, he came in there like every day, mm-hmm. and me and him talked a lot. He's really cool. So I'm not gonna lie. I think Albany itself is in good hands with Bo. Um, mm-hmm. Obviously, it's it's unfortunate that you know this man's been in office like six months, and then he gets hit with something that nobody can really handle. Dude, I know. I couldn't you imagine, know? bro. <laughs> I could. I couldn't imagine. But I, man, I, I talked to Bo a lot, and half time. I didn't really know what he was saying just because how smart he was, but that's one of the smartest men I've met in my life. <laughs> like, Bo, 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 I like Bo. I like Bo. So, I, I think, I think, I, I think he's going to get under control. 
Yeah, I'm glad things are. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I'm glad, but it's it's good to see things start opening back up. Yeah, no uh, doubt, bro. No doubt. Yeah, I just you know hope everybody stays safe. Um, uh, you know it's it's a weird time for all of us. You know, for yeah, us at dude, home, like, for us and working. I don't really think it, anything's ever happened like this, like in ever. Like this yeah. is history. You know, they're gonna be reading about this in our history books in thirty years, bro. For real, like, we are a part of history. You know, that's kind of cool. Yes. Kind of cool. And it's cool. It's crazy. It's mind blowing. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty insane, cool. man. Yeah, but yeah, man. I, you know, hopefully things start to get better, which they should. Um. No slowly doubt. you know ho- hopefully there's not like a second wave or anything uh because that that is that'd be terrible um i did see the national guard came in to our hospital yeah yesterday dude, I saw or something. That. yeah and they're like they're like sanitize the hospitals mm-hmm. uh so that's you know that's good i mean i don't really see why we need national guard to do that yeah they had but, national I mean, guard doing like tests and stuff they had set up a testing like a lot of the testing sites around because you can go and yeah. get free tests now and everything. So. Yeah. Oh, they do a testing make, at all, Biddy? Your dad may make you go get a test, bro. Yeah. Bro, that's what I'm saying, you do, bro. You can do free that's testing now. Damn. I, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing it, bro. I can't do it. I can't. I refuse. I refuse. But, mm-hmm. yeah, that's you got You got the else you want to add about coronavirus? I think I pretty much said my I, news. Nah, man. I think we should move on to something... Uh, Something a little more brighter. Maybe talk about a uh, recent event we had, man. Oh, recent event. Yeah, uh, man. That, uh, your I, boy wonder where, I wonder where that could be. <laughs> Dude. Oh, my God. For those of you guys that don't know, we put on, Off the Glass put on a big Warzone tournament uh, two weeks ago, I think. Um, it was April 26th, I think, one of the Sundays. And uh, yeah. we... It was it was awesome, man. You know, um, I my one goal. I played in the tournament. Hunter also played in the tournament. My one goal was to get out of the out of the first round. That's all I wanted to do. Lost the first round in the winners bracket. I said, "All right, we're going up against uh, John." If you're watching this, I can't believe you beat us, man. John, John and his team had never. He just installed the game Saturday night. Saturday night, he just installed the game. And uh, <laughs> we get on Sunday morning. He hadn't even played. That was his first time playing was in the tournament. So I, we got in that match. I said, okay, these guys have never played. We've been practicing all week. We played Call of Duty a lot in our lives. Like, we should be able to to take this team on. Bro, we lost, man. We lost by one point. Uh. I, was so, I was so mad, dude. Like, I just I wanted to get out of that first round. I was like, to lose to... To these guys that have never played, that was crazy, bro. And they kept going on. I think they got all the way to round three or something. I was like, you go, Damn. John. I uh, I made it. I think my team, we made it round four of the winner's bracket. Uh-huh. And then we played We played Mitchell and Mason Bush, who are uh, – we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be talking about them more later on. I'm, I'm not going to disclose anything right now. We'll be talking about more of them later on, you know, some future episodes. But <clears throat> Mitchell and Mason – they they ended up placing fourth. Yeah. They had an amazing team, but no we doubt. had the absolute worst performance. We in three games we only put up ten points, and we hadn't put below ten in a game before. Mm-hmm. So three games we only put up ten, so we lost. I mean, it, it's pretty much inevitable we're gonna lose against them because I think they put yeah. up a lot. I mean, they placed fourth. They had a good team, and then we we go down to the losers bracket, and I think we won the first losers game. Yeah, I think so. And then the second, well, I, this is like round five or something. Anyways, we played Jeremy, Taylor, Ben, and Seth, who are I I call my brothers from Tennessee. Uh, you know they all live they all live together. We we play we played almost nightly, and uh, they beat us. And I was so pissed. We've been <laughs> we've been screaming all week, man, and we've been just beating them. And then the the thing that got me was. They beat us by one, mm-hmm. and history oh, yeah, that's, in in yeah. our little in, yeah in our little history we play fantasy football, mm-hmm. and last year it it was just a regular season game, but oh no it was two years ago two years ago Ben it was like I was I was like six and zero oh in fantasy football, mm-hmm. and then I played Ben and Ben beats me by point zero one, uh, see so this man's <laughs> always beating no me way. by one man. Yeah, oh and I was, was like six and zero, oh, bro. Like it was a regular season. I won the whole season. 
anyways. And actually, That's I think I played Ben in the finals again. Yeah. But I, I don't know the whole season anyways. But it's just that man's always beat by one. And it, That's the. Yeah, worst, I told him. Man. I told him in chat. I was like, I was like, bro, you beat by one again. He didn't catch it at first, but then he yeah. caught it, and then he just started rubbing my face. But oh man, that's the worst, dude. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, after we lost, I casted for like eight hours. Yeah, no, I know. I don't. I don't. I don't know how I did that. I don't know how Diego casted dude, for thirteen. I, know, I don't know how any of those guys did, man. The casters, the admins. Yeah, that was, that was insane, man. That was, that was a lot of work, man. That was a long tournament. It was, it was a very long tournament. It was, it was a ton of fun, though. It was a ton of fun. I think it was a. I think it was a great success. You know. Um, oh yeah. Of course, we've gotten a lot of feedback, and we're if we ever do one of these again, um, we will definitely take that feedback into consideration. Um, yeah. But for the first putting on the first one, putting it on, and the amount of time we put it on in, I think we. I think we did a pretty good job. You know, everyone yeah. came together yeah. and everyone got done what they needed to get done, and it was even though I lost the first round, it was awesome just to be able to experience it and see see every everyone come together and everyone have a good time you know yeah it was, it was dope and as far as i want to i want to touch on just the tournament as a whole real quick um yeah it, it was fun i had a great time i had a great time casting you know yeah. i had a great time you know talking smack with everybody um the, the coolest thing about the tournament to me is me and me and jake personally we we have been talking about doing stuff like this for a while mm -hmm. um the initial plan was to do it with Fortnite, and then it it just, I don't know. We we couldn't get it figured out. But then finally, I was like, yo, fuck it, let's do Warzone. Warzone's popping right now. You yeah. know, a lot of people are playing Warzone, so it was like last minute. I gave us like a week. I was like, yo, let's do Warzone. Let's do the Sunday. And mm. everybody, you know, everybody kind of lost their shit for a second. They were like, oh, whoa, a week. <laughs> and I mean, I you know, sorry, but we did it a week, and uh, I, I think we did a damn good job. Um, we had uh. We had 20 teams, uh, so the coolest thing about it is it was an invite-only mm -hmm. tournament. So I'd, I'd invite captains, and the captains would pick their two teammates, yeah. and it'd be a trios tournament. So they had everyone I invited, they were, they were all homies. I mean, whether they're were, whether they directly affiliated with Off the Glass or I just knew them, you know. Um, I, I just invited captains, and, and it was cool, man, because, like, we all kind of knew each other. You know, we all mm -hmm. interact with each other, you know, somewhere in, in our little – world you know yeah. um so it was just cool man and, and i definitely i like keeping the family close like that um will we host an open event soon or in the future i'm not completely against it i mean i'd love to host an open tournament but it's just i, I like the exclusivity of yeah you know, no doubt just playing with people you know and everything but um i, w I will say i want to give a shout out to uh terrence king if terrence is watching this um He's the owner and founder of Life ATL, and they actually sponsored the event to contribute to uh, to the prize pool. And um, you know, I, that's that was dope. You know, yeah, was me super and Terrence, awesome, man. yeah, we we've talked. You know, we we've expressed our interest between each other, and uh, we're we're gonna be working on a lot more stuff together soon. Um, but it, it was dope. He kind of you know just took my idea and believed in it, and then uh, you know just saw it through. And 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 he was, I think he was shocked with how it went i, I think he yeah. was shocked on on the, the professionalism and the turnout i mean that was just, yeah it was it was crazy it bro. was yeah it was it great was, um, yeah it was awesome we had a we had a couple of uh i say i say some big names um in there um outside of captains we had we had phase blue compete um mm -hmm. which I, I thought was pretty cool man um I, i've i will admit i i've been watching the kid you know i think he's my age but I've been watching him as I've grown up. I used to watch his Model Fair Two videos, so that yeah. was kind of cool, man. I I never really never never saw that coming. Oh, I know. Um, I used to watch his MW Three rap videos. He used to freestyle. Yeah, we used to 3, freestyle bro. on the free yeah, for all, bro. Fire, That's bro. what I watched, dude. That, that was fire, dope. Bro. I, yeah, that was that was dope, man. I don't because I'm be real, bro. I can't even sit there and play the game and talk, you know. So this man sitting here freestyle. I now know, whether yeah. <laughs> we, now now we're gonna have to get him on here because I gotta ask him, you know. If that was pre-recorded, <laughs> uh -oh. or if it was off the dome, we're yeah. gonna need a MythBuster from no Phase doubt, Blue. No so Blue, you gonna be getting called for me soon. But <laughs> um, we had Phase Blue. We had um, we had Tario from from Hype Unit. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty cool, man. Tario is a pretty cool guy. Uh, he put out a pretty cool. I don't know if you saw the video he put out his little his little recap video. 
I don't think so. It was, nah. kinda, it, it, was, it was pretty dope. It was on his Twitter. It was, it was pretty dope. Um, we also had my boy Jeremy, Jeremy Ray Taylor, coming in. Uh, Jeremy, he's an actor. Um, I'd say he's a YouTuber. He's a streamer. He streams as well. Um, he uh, he started the movie It. He started in Goosebumps. Uh, if you go way back, he started in like Ant Man and Alvin and the Chipmunks when he was a kid. So you know, my boy Jeremy came through. He's pretty cool, man. And uh, Pubby Longway. Who's that man's oh, yeah, I've funny, been funny his as streets, hell, bro. bro. <laughs> Pub, Pub is, uh, I don't want to narrow him down too many things, but I'd say, I'd say the best explanation for Pub is he's, he's a comedian. You know, I don't mm-hmm. want to say Instagram comedian, but Pub's a comedian. Uh, we'll, uh, you know, we, we'll, I don't know if we can, we'll throw his name up on the screen or something. Um, same with Jeremy and everybody else, but, uh, Man, I I don't. All the thing I say about Pub is you need to go watch his content for yourself. He's, that he, man, he posts some funny stuff, man. That man is I, funny, bro. I followed him after he uh, after he came in the tournament, man. He be posting yeah. some funny stuff. That yeah, man, he does a lot of voiceovers, <laughs> and that shit is hilarious. Oh yeah, and dude. He uh he got to start on Vine mm-hmm. back in the day, and he did Vine. Um, he does he does a couple like you know videos of himself, but what got him like back on track, I guess, after Vine died. He started mm-hmm. commenting over like food videos, you know, like the making the food. Yeah, uh, I forgot what they're called. It's like stuff you see on Facebook. Yeah. So he did I that, and, and that, that kind of you know put him back on the top. Um, but recently he's been doing he's been doing voiceovers over like animal videos, bro, and them shits. <laughs> bro. I seen the one with the two bears, brother. <laughs> oh, bro, did you see the one with the sheep where they're shaving the sheep? Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Oh my god, you got bro. That one was bro. <laughs> I had to check it out, bro. <laughs> he like picked up the sheep, and uh, it was like the sheep was talking, and the sheep thought he was dying, but dude was just shaving his stomach, bro. That shit, that was funny, bro. That's probably one of the funniest ones he's put out, honestly. Like oh, that, man. That one was something else, bro. But um, who we forget? Who we forgetting? Um, um... pull up. Oh, uh, we had uh, the Halo boys. If you want to give the Halo boys oh, a shout out, yeah, yeah. They yeah. So, smacked us in the first round. Oh my god, bro! So we had god, uh, we god. had my, my boy, my boy Hunter JJX, who's a he's a Halo pro. He teamed up with um, Corey Sloss, aka uh, Straight Straight Slick, and um, Buddy Porter, who is a uh, I believe he's like a master cosmetologist or something. That that man, oh, I thought he was a Halo <laughs> pro, and I'm sure I'm sure he played a little bit of Halo, but I checked yeah. his Instagram and. Uh, Dude's got like 70k on Instagram, and he's like a hairstylist. It's pretty damn cool. Um, but anyways, then boys, I met uh, I met Hunter JJX at um I got hired to cover his uh his his Halo team, his pro team at DreamHack, yeah. and uh, you know we just connected, man. We uh he's cool as hell. You know I'm not gonna lie. First night I was there, or the first day I was there, I was a little nervous, bro, because you know I didn't know these people. Yeah. And then we got some hotel room that night. I didn't have a hotel room, so they just let me you know stay with them. I I kind of just went in there blind, bro. <laughs> but I got there. Um, their first match of the day was on main stage. Mm-hmm. So that's some cool shots. Um, and then we literally we got back. We got back to the hotel room like ten o'clock maybe, and we were up to like four a.m. just talking. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> you know we we talk we talked for like, bro. We talked from like ten eight ten p.m. to like four a.m. And it was just it was just dope, man. It, you know, it was people that have made careers in gaming. Which I've always envied, and, and just getting their insight and advice and everything, mm-hmm. like it was cool, man. Um, yeah. We also had we also had my boy Cali, who's an he's an up and coming artist, man. He makes some of the best music I've heard in my life. Um, he had a squad; they competed. Um, we also had uh, let's see, we had Pub. Oh, my boy Casey. Casey was on Tario's yeah, team. Yeah, man. Um, I've known Casey for for a very long time, man. You know, and they they actually won the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I've known Casey for a long time, man. He actually, you know, with all his support, he's got his stream recently and winning those three tournaments. He just bought his PC today. Oh, really? Nice, Finally. dude. I know he's yeah, been trying bro. to do that for a while. That's yeah. awesome, man. So this man, this man's about to go crazy, bro. Oh yeah, no doubt, that's, no doubt. That is dope, bro. I'm glad he finally. Yeah, man. Got his that's, PC. That is awesome. It is awesome, bro. It's it's just that's stuff you like to see, man. Stuff you like to see. Progress. We also have my boy, uh, my boy Danny Berger, who I also made a dream hack. Um, he's the uh, the director of content for the Atlanta Rain Overwatch team. Mm-hmm. He also does a lot of work with the Atlanta Phase Call of Duty team. These are both franchise teams. 
Um, and, 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 you know, he came through, I met him in Atlanta as well. Um, and we, you know, we've just been vibing connected ever since he's a really, really cool guy. Um, he also came in, unfortunately, none of his teammates showed up, which absolutely sucks. We're going to make sure we got something for that next time. Yeah. Um, but his teammates didn't show up. So, you know, he got the first round exit, but you know, he still played, you know, and, and you know, hats off to him. Um, you know, appreciate Danny. Danny, we go, we go, we go. Make sure you get right next time. But yeah, Danny came go. through. But the event was dope, man. It it was dope. It was it was, dude. That was, it was awesome. one of the coolest things I've done in my life. Really, it was. I I enjoyed it. I, it was super cool, man. It was. It, it, we're we're gonna we're gonna do more. We're hundred percent gonna do more. Um, oh sure. We can talk about a Valorant event. Yeah, which I man. Think is, I think it's going to be pretty dope. And I think with that being said, we're going to turn to our next chapter Boom. of this podcast. Valorant. Segue. Yeah, man. Valorant. So, me personally, I've never played Valorant. <laughs> um, Tanner is playing Valorant right now. The other room, he's streaming. Yeah. Um, And I might go in there and play a little bit on his setup tonight. But I've never played Valorant. I've watched it. Mm-hmm. Um, Everyone, from what I've seen, is loving it. I've seen a couple people, you know, hate on it. But, you know. Yeah. It is what it I is. Think, I um, think it's a really, I think it's a really cool game. It's, it's not my game. Um, so I'm not going to say the game's trash, but, yeah. um, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of it because I've just never, I never liked CSGO. Um, yeah. it's, it's too competitive for me. You know, it's, I, I to me, that. it's a little slow paced. Um, some people might disagree, but to me, I feel like it's a little slow paced, just that style of game in general. Um, but I, I think it's going to be a huge success, you know, I mean, it already is a huge success yeah, and I think it it's going to continue to blow up, um, once the game fully launches sometime in the summer, I don't know an exact mm-hmm. date on when it's going to launch, but when it does, it's, it's going to be huge, man. It's going to be one of the next big things, you know? Yeah, I think, I think so too. A lot of people it, uh, are going to make a name, I'll make their name out of this game. Oh, oh yeah. And, that, and that's what happens when these new games come out. Yeah, man. You know, like, we've even got guys you know, making a name out of like Warzone, even though it's Call of Duty. Um, you've got guys that have been around, but they're, you know, finally starting their recognition. Like, for example, um, I don't know if you've heard of Swag. He just got yeah, picked up yeah, by I FaZe. I didn't know, I didn't really yeah. know him before he got picked up to FaZe, but I saw the pickup from FaZe. I think he was a part of like the M fam, like Nick Merck's like squad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think he, I think he played with Nick a lot before, or maybe, I, don't, I might be wrong, but he, he got picked up by FaZe. Which is dope, and I mean, now he's making a career out of out of Warzone. He's arguably one one of the better Warzone players. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, but yeah, Valorant. You know, I the thing about these new games is is it gives more people opportunities. Like you have so many careers, oh, so yeah. many so many teams. You know, man. like endless. Yeah, like Fortnite. Fortnite really. I, pretty much every everyone. I say eighty percent of the industry right now. Oh yeah, I, Fortnite was like. Oh, Fortnite really Fortnite was the game that kind of made like I mean people wanted to do this YouTube and do this Twitch thing before Fortnite was like like if you look at Twitch's numbers and YouTube numbers and everything you'll see yeah. the amount of like uploads and the amount of streamers and everything whenever Fortnite got big it just skyrocketed like everyone jumped onto streaming even pc gaming like there was not pc yeah. gaming wasn't a, i mean it was a huge thing of course but yeah, yeah the yeah. majority of gamers were on console still and when fortnite hit everyone went to pc you know everyone wanted to get that mouse and keyboard for the the keybinds and everything the faster builds yeah. the faster edits and everything and it, it's just it's crazy to see like what when you actually look deep into Fortnite, what all it's what all it's done, it's it's crazy, bro. Like it really It's done a lot. Yeah, no doubt. It made I I I, I think Fortnite really as much as like, you know, everyone hates it now or whatever, I Fortnite really made gaming kind of cool, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, it really, nobody it really like, did. Like it's it's crazy. Yeah. Like Call of Duty Call of Duty's been the biggest game for several years. It's been on top. And you know, I don't know. People like everyone play. Everyone plays Fortnite. Yeah, it was you know? like a. It's like a. Uh, what's the word? It was like a social, like a. Like I can't a, think like of the a like a renaissance. Kind of like a intervention, almost. Like I don't. Yeah. I don't know the word I'm trying. I'm looking for, but. I 
I, I say I'd say it, it was a movement. <laughs> yeah, you know, it that, was like I think that's what I'm trying to yeah. say. Like it was, it, it was, was, it was a big movement, dude. It was crazy. Yeah. Like it, every, I mean, dude, you can play it on your phone. You can play on your iPad. Everything. Play on bro, Xbox, like, PS4, Fortnite. Every like, dude, everyone in the world knows Fortnite. Like, yeah, it's Keep it's going. a part of everyone's life almost. You know. Yeah. But at least I mean, at everyone, one point in time, everyone's played the game. If you if you haven't if you haven't played Fortnite. You must be living under a rock, bro. Like, <laughs> or, or or you're or you're lying. I yeah, mean, everyone right. is. You're either lying or at some yeah. point. I like, even like, bro. Even even my mom. My mom tried Fortnite. Like, we're just <laughs> in the living room playing one time, and she grabbed a controller. You know, <laughs> like even like like my older sister. She's like, you know, she's like thirty. She yeah. um, she play on her phone, and she play with me and my brother. You know, mm-hmm. like everyone's touched it, bro. It's 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 had some type of influence. For and, sure. And you know you don't that type of stuff doesn't happen a lot, you know. Nah, it's like I saw a tweet the other day, like games like that, like Fortnite and stuff, like once in a decade, you know. Yeah. Like those games yeah. don't happen often. Like it's once every once in a decade. Like MW two, like that was yeah. a huge like. That's another game that everyone's played Modern Warfare two. If you haven't played Modern Warfare two, yeah. then I, something's wrong with you, you know. <laughs> like no offense, but yeah. if you haven't played Modern Warfare Two, I mean it's the same as Fortnite. Like it's it was yeah. it was the big thing. Like it was what everyone did. So yeah, I I, I uh see what when I got into online gaming, that was around like the very end of Modern Warfare Three. Mm-hmm. I had gamed my whole life. You know, I played a little bit of Halo and stuff, but you know, I never had I never had Xbox Live up until. Mm-hmm. On for three, so of course you know I went back and I, I played MW two. You know when when it it wasn't as bad as it is now, but you know when there was like a little bit of hackers and stuff mm-hmm. on there. But you know we go and just we trick we trick shot and have fun. Uh, but uh, I you know Modern Warfare two everyone talks about it. everyone compares everything yeah. to Modern Warfare two. Every Call of Duty is compared to Modern Warfare two. Yeah, I, I will say my personal favorite though is Black Ops two. That that's that really got me two. into gaming. Yeah. Black Ops 2 completely got me to gaming, 100%. I love the, uh, uh, I was a huge fan of the zombies more than multiplayer. Like, yeah, I Tanner, love That's all Tanner used dude. to play. Yeah, I used Tanner. to grind some zombies, bro, like three, four-hour yeah. games. It was, yeah, I, I, I've had my fair share of zombies, but yeah. I, was, uh, I, was, I was a multiplayer guy. I was a uh, pub, pub stomper, trick shotter. I like I like trick shot, man. That, it was so fun. You know, my, uh, the first, you know, Carter, first trick shot he hit on Black Ops 2, I had joined. They had a six, man. I didn't know. So mm-hmm. I joined the game, and I was on the other team. This man hit a trick shot on me. It was his first trick <laughs> shot he hit on Black Ops 2. Dang. And then Black Ops 3, a couple years later, first trick yeah. shot he hit on Black Ops 3, it was on me. <laughs> Dang. And then, and then we were playing Modern Warfare a while back. We were just yeah. doing, like, a free-for-all lobby. On Rust, because they brought you when they added Rust, yeah. we we're just like, yo, we're, we're sniping. Oh, so yeah. we started no free doubt. for on no our doubt. Rust, and uh, you know, you got the 30 kills. Once you get 29, you know, we're like trick shot. This man Carter hit another trick shot on me oh, on Modern Warfare. God. So it's like, it's his first one on each game. It was on me, P, man. You know? Three and oh. Yeah, there's there's a lot of weird coincidences in my life, but I see that. <laughs> that. That one definitely, that one, that one probably pissed me off the most. <laughs> And it's always it's always like the dopest trick shot ever, man. It's like how do you even hit it? And then it's like it's like oh, and then you just see a little nut thrust pop up on the kill feed. Yep. <laughs> Fucking my life. Mm-mm-mm. But uh, so I don't know much about Valorant, and I know we've made videos. You made videos. You know, take yeah. take take me a little bit. Take me a little bit through Valorant real quick, it's... just in a nutshell. A lot of people want to say it's a CS:GO mixed with Overwatch, but I. I really disagree with that because people want to say Overwatch. I don't see Overwatch. a lot of Overwatch. People want to say Overwatch because it's got the characters with abilities, but I mean, there's tons of games that have characters with abilities. Like, yeah. so it's nothing like Overwatch as far. The game is just like CSGO. You have a buy system, you get money each round, you buy your weapons each round, you have your bomb sites. It's, it's literally an ex- I mean, the guns feel just like uh, CSGO. You have your, I mean, even the, the sniper. In CS:GO is the AWP. People call it the op. Yeah. And uh, in Valorant, and the there's, sniper, a, yeah. there's a sniper called the operator that people call the op. Like it's yeah. there's so many similarities. It's, it's crazy. But I 
I mean, CSGO is a really old game, so maybe it's time that a new game comes in. And I'm, I don't think they're going to knock CSGO out, at least not anytime soon. But yeah. um, it's it's interesting, man. You got to you got to try it and see if you like it. You never know. Um, I yeah. think a lot of the hype will slowly start to die down once more people get access to the beta. Um, I think oh, most everyone has access to the beta now, at least all my friends that yeah. didn't have a code. Yeah. But uh, a lot of the people that like watch my stream and stuff that are in my community that have been waiting on a code, they finally got one like the past week or so, and they all played the game and they were hyped to play it. And then like they already are saying they don't like it, you know, not that it's a trash game, but it's just they they don't like they feel like I feel it's not their game. And it's because it's really competitive. I don't know if people understand how much like competitiveness is built into it deep down. Um but I think the abilities are really cool. You know, each character plays their own role. You have a support character like Sage, I think is her name. She can revive. She can heal. Then you have more mm-hmm. offensive characters like Raze, I think. She's got grenades, a rocket launcher, which is insanely OP that really needs to be nerfed. I don't know if it has been nerfed already, but it's extremely OP. You pull out a rocket launcher said, and it just... What's up? You said that's Raze? That's Raze? Yeah, I think her name's Raze. R-A-Z-E. Right. You pull out a rocket launcher. It's got the yeah, biggest yeah. blast radius in the world. I mean, it, it will kill you from a mile yeah. away pretty much. Um, but so you've got your offensive characters. You've got your support characters. So it's really everyone kind of maybe that's where people get the Overwatch thing from is you have like you're not just fragging. You still have somewhat of a role to play. Um, if you're yeah. Sage, you want to make sure you're sticking with the majority of your team so you can heal your team. She has a mm-hmm. uh, ice ability where she can drop ice on the ground, throw up an ice wall. So I I think it's definitely something that everyone needs to try out. It's free to play. Um, if you don't have the beta right yeah. now, when the game comes out, it's going to be free to play. So definitely pick it up, give it a try, um, and see if it's for you. It's going to be big. So if you want to take the time, yeah. ground it out, try to get good at it, you may be able to make a name for yourself, you know? I wish I, I I wish it come out on console. I I feel that man. I feel that. I think I think if they want to really dethrone Fortnite, you know, and they want it to be the biggest game, it's gonna have to come out on console for sure. Not not everybody has a PC. I mean, of course, the game's gonna be huge, but everyone's talking about it's just gonna completely kill Call of Duty. Oh yeah, Fortnite, I know. It's, go. it's gonna it's gonna own its rightful space if that makes sense. Like, um that pc fps competitive shooter it's going to own that title for sure like it's going to be up there with csgo and it's going to make its name for itself but um i don't know if a game like that will ever go console unfortunately just because of how competitive it is you know i mean even fortnite you have constantly people complaining that oh controller aim assist is op Mouse and keyboard, this is OP. Like they're constantly console and PC players are constantly fighting with each other. Yeah. So I don't know if it ever go PC just because of that, but or I'm sorry, I don't know if it ever go console because of that. But it would definitely be yeah. cool to see. You know, I like that games now like Fortnite and Modern Warfare are completely cross platform with every single platform, and like on Fortnite, PC players can play with mobile, like someone on the phone. Yeah, like, that's, that's super pretty, cool, that's pretty cool. Like that's that's yeah. how, and it kills me that games are still coming out without crossplay. Now I get if you're like a smaller publisher and you don't have the mm-hmm. funding to develop crossplay and everything into your game, but yeah. if it's a big title like a AAA title, it every game nowadays should come with crossplay because that, yeah, that's I think, I think so. that's the future. Right? These games have proved you can do it and you can do it right. So I think that's like I think crossplay is the few the next big thing i mean it's already a big yeah. thing but i, it I think is. it's super cool i guess is what i'm trying to say yeah I'm, I'm glad i'm glad call of duty finally did it i know me too i'm, me I'm too. very glad they finally did it so you know yeah like it goes back to saying you know fortnite's really paved the way for a mm-hmm. lot of things they but really have i think I'm, I'm definitely definitely tonight maybe or maybe tomorrow i'm, I'm definitely hopping on valorant and go try it out maybe you'll have a better experience than you had on tarkov your first time dude that was ridiculous bro i i thought th- tarkov was gonna keep being a huge game and yeah I mean, it's it's i saw the diego diego still sticks with it and played i think diego just really loves the game but yeah he's been killing it on tarkov there, was it was huge tarkov was huge yeah. for a long it time was, it was but, that twitch drops man like those yeah twitch drops are proving to be one of the best marketing systems ever you know like yeah. uh, Tarkov did um, 
did the Twitch drops for loot and they were really huge because the loot you would get from the drops is worth like three to four months of grinding to get. Um, at least yeah. was what I heard. Um, and then Valorant is a super hype game that everyone wants to play. And the only way to play it right now is to watch streams on Twitch. So as yeah, far as like from a marketing standpoint, Twitch drops are proving to be pretty successful. And that helps and, Twitch too. Yeah, no doubt. So I'm, uh, it's going to be interesting to see what, what they decide to do with this drop system. And I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to start seeing it a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I, I think it's pretty, definitely a great idea. Mm -hmm. Um, they, they've been doing, they've been doing really good with that, but I'm, I'm definitely, yeah. I, okay. Okay. Tarkov, let me just say, that pissed me off, bro. bro it was crazy. actually actually scared me, bro. Dude, yeah, because you were in that, for those of you who don't know, Hunter, when after we recorded episode, one of the episodes we trashed of the podcast a while back, he yeah. uh, jumped on my setup and he wanted to play Tarkov because that's when it was really big and hyped up. And he loads into Factory, I think, and he spawns in the little dark room in the inside the factory. And he's still, he doesn't know the controls or anything. It's his first time playing on, I I, know, I, I'm not nothing. sure if it was your first time on mouse and yeah, keyboard. It was, but oh, oh, well, yeah, I'm not a big mouse and keyboard. Yeah, he, all, he normally so. plays on controllers, so he, was, he wasn't familiar with the controls at all. He walks out of a room, <laughs> and as soon as he walks out the room, gets one tapped in the head. <laughs> That was, he, see, didn't, he didn't know what happened, bro. It was crazy. If I, if I had if I had this bad boy right here, it would be I would beam him. I would I would have beam him. But I was on a keyboard, dude. And I'm over here, <laughs> like I'm getting shot. I'm like, turn. It was I was dead. Like, literally, over, bro, I literally, literally walked out. Actually, I don't think I moved, bro. I heard <laughs> I see the dude right there, and I just jumped, bro. And I was dead, and that was. It was, like, it was like, what happened? I'm like, you, you just got one Yeah, time, I, I was confused. I was asking Jay. I was like, Jay, I was like, Jay what happened, bro? He's like, you died. I'm like, Jay? I'm like, bro, it took us three minutes to look at the game. I lasted 10 seconds. Just to die in 10 seconds, bro. That, bro. That, that's one of the things that drove me off of the game was because I, I wasn't the best at it. It's a very hardcore game. So yeah. you have very minimal HUD. You have no idea where people are. There's no mini map or radar. Um, like literally, if you want to look around the map, if you don't have one of the in-game item maps, then you have to pull up a map on your second monitor and Ooh. figure out where you are in relation to the map that you're looking at on your monitor. And these maps are like community drawn. So all of them mm -hmm. are kind of vary as far as the location names. But, uh, I would constantly get one tapped from, no, I don't know where, like I'd get, I'd randomly be walking up a hill and just drop dead. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm yeah. glad I just spent 40 minutes to get, to just drop dead instantly. You know? Yeah. That Man. game. I'm, I'm not playing ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm not touching that game ever again. <laughs> I don't, I don't care who, what, when, where, why, but. I'm, I'm not I'm not playing Tarkov ever again. Mm -hmm. but I, I do want to try Valorant. Hopefully, I don't completely shit the sheets. Tanner said Tanner was using my account at first. Yeah, I've seen got, that. And I, I'm like a Iron Three or something Wait, like that. that it's like no. Oh, <laughs> I don't know the ranks. <laughs> no, and and it, it, it's like the worst. And then he was like, he's like, yeah, Hunter's an Iron Three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, dude, no, that's you. He's like, he's like, nah, buddy, I have my own account. I'm, I'm like a silver now. I'm like, dude, really? Dang, so man. I'm, I mean, at least, at least like when that, I, bro, he did you dirty. Yeah, he, he, did, he definitely did me dirty. But <laughs> I mean, at, at least when I started, I'm playing against the worst damn players on the game. So that's true. That's true. You know, whatever. But I don't. know. I'm probably not gonna play it. If I could run on my MacBook, I would. But so I probably can't because I could run League of Legends out of here. And I, and I, I kind of like League of, League, of, League, of, League of Legends. <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't really have like I ain't got nobody to play with. I can play with like Marcus. Who I met, who I also met at DreamHack. Mm -hmm. I can play with Marcus, but he's like a, he's like one of the highest rates on the game, so he doesn't want to play my Dang. sorry ass. But <laughs> I, I need completed my placement games, you know, like so. I don't know. I just deleted it to be honest, but um, okay. I, might, I might try Valor, man. I want to. If it could run, I don't know. It, 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 I gotta at least play it once, but um, yeah. So we were talking about potentially doing a Valorant event soon. Um, mm -hmm. we'll probably run the same invite only format. Probably do eight teams, to be honest, a little bit yeah. smaller. Um, and we, you know, we'll just get bigger as we progress, but, 
um, I'm not very good at the game, so I'll 100% be casting the game. Neither I've never I, played bro. the game. I, mean, I can't even play the game, so I'll 100% <laughs> be casting the game. Um, and uh, Jake might be casting with me unless he wants to try to make a run for the money. But sure, dude. You know. after, that, after that last performance, bro, I think I think I may need to sit one out. Yeah, I, I think I may need to sit one out, man. I'm not sure. I, I, I know people have been suggesting like like a regular Call of Duty tournament, like a five on five, yeah, and even like the gun, the gun fight stuff. Yeah, I can maybe get behind a gun fight. Mm-hmm. But if we do Call of Duty again, me personally, I want to do Warzone again. Oh yeah, yeah, um, no doubt. That was that was totally totally the move. Yeah, I, I definitely want to do Warzone again if we're going to do Call of Duty. You know, gun it's fight's a, it's, cool. It's, more, it's a lot more fun to watch as far as from a viewer standpoint yeah. too. You know. Yeah. So like I think, regular regular competitive. I mean, it's I don't know. I, I, yeah, I, gunfight's more fun to watch. You, you, you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, no, at no. all. I mean, some people have kind of figured out that they're going to win every damn game, but you really don't know what's going to happen <laughs> with with Warzone and, and games like mm. that. So I definitely want to do it soon because I really I had no idea who's going to win. I thought my early predictions was going to. Your early predictions that you're cutting out. Oh, my, my prediction was. There you go. Good? Yeah, you're good now. My, my prediction was that I was going to win. Uh, oh, you you were going to win. I thought I was going to win, but I thought oh, I did change. Oh, man. But uh, seriously, I, I don't know who I thought. I knew Jaden was going to get far, him and his team. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I thought Jaden's team was going to win. I thought Floats and then we win. get farther too, but. I did too. I did too. See, that's what made me but, feel a little better, man. I wasn't the only one first round. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't the well, only I was one like first round. So fourth I thought, round. And, I mean, I, I felt a little bit see, better. See, I placed, I placed 12, and I'm like, oh, I don't feel too bad about this, but it's 12 out of 20. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I'm, I'm on the bottom half, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, you said you said earlier, you said earlier, Warzone's getting a new map. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, dude. I, uh, I, I, War- I love Warzone. Yeah, man. Warzone's supposed to be getting a new map, dude. I just uh, made a video yesterday, posted it today. Um, now it's just, uh, I mean, I'm. It's mostly solid information, um, but basically, people went into the files, like de- these data miners went deep into the game files, and they found a short little eleven second clip of basically just a map and you see um the current map verndosk i think is the name whatever it's however yeah, you yeah. say it that's the current warzone For map dance, you see like yeah yeah you see it right there on the map and then it slowly zooms out as it's zooming out all these red dots start popping up around verndosk and then as it zooms out all the way over here in the top left corner you see a location named Urzikstan. and people are saying that's supposed to be the next warzone map for season four and season four is supposed to start um, June second, if I'm not mistaken. So less than mm. uh, it's May fourth, so less than a month away until mm. we might be seeing a new Warzone map. A lot of people are kind of it's surprisingly getting mixed reviews. A lot of people are saying that yeah. they there doesn't need to be a new map yet. There's other things that they should focus on and worry about. Um, but yeah, I feel like Warzone's in a really good spot. Um, I think it's cool to see that they are putting time into development. Um, I think it shows that because my biggest worry is that this is the month of May. This is usually the time when we see at least a teaser of the new Call of Duty game that's going to come out in the fall. And I, I personally don't think there should be a new Call of Duty this year. Because I think Modern Warfare is the by far the best Call of Duty they've done in months and years. I mean, so I think they should really build upon that success they've had with this game. I mean, Warzone is a part of Modern Warfare. So I don't want them to make a new come out with this new Call of Duty, ditch Modern Warfare, and end up forgetting about Warzone. And then it's just it's just like blackout. It's just left in the dust, you know. Because I think they I think they've got a really big thing with Warzone. I think it they've got it's got a lot of potential. Um, and if they do it right, if they do these consistent updates like they've been doing, that I think they can really make something out of it. You know, it can be one of the. I mean, it already is one of the biggest battle royales. I think it'll continue to stay up there as one of the best battle royales if they 
keep on developing yeah. for it. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, we had to we had to take a short little intermission there because of some technology mishaps. But uh, I think we left off. We were talking about uh, the consistency of the Warzone updates and how we think that uh, at least I think that Warzone has the potential to really go a long way if they do it right and they put the time into it. And that I really hope uh, my thoughts on the Call of Duty this year was that they I don't really want a new Call of Duty to come out this year because I think that Modern Warfare is in such a good spot and it's such a good game that they should really go all out on that and keep expanding on that. I don't know if you feel the same way or not, but yeah, I I don't want a new Call of Duty to come out. I know. I mean, I know it is. I yeah. mean, they've already been working on it for the past two years. I mean, I, I know it's going to come out, yeah. but um, it's the inevitable I, at this point. Yeah, I mean, it's it's gonna come out unless unless for some reason they just completely just you know postpone it or something, which I can see happening due to Corona. Yeah. Um, but but other than that, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if they postpone anything. Um, you know, they used to they used to go on the two year model back in the day. Yeah. They have a Treyarch, they have Infinity War, and then they threw Sledgehammer in there. I kind of screwed everything up, so they took Sledgehammer out. Um, and uh, I don't know. I I'd, I'd like for them to just keep one. One game for, I, just, I, I, I don't think it should be a duty. Yeah, I don't think it should be a yeah. every year <clears throat> thing anymore. Like I think, yeah, it, and a lot of games have proven that. I mean, you can keep building upon one game and it be great, you know. So yeah. maybe I mean we'll see. Maybe that's what they're gonna do. You know, with as much time as they're putting into Warzone and the, as much as they're updating the game, it would it. Maybe they'll announce that, hey, we're not going to do a new Call of Duty this year. We're going to keep going hard at what we got already, you know? I think yeah. it would be cool. Because if they do a new Call of Duty, I mean, the old one will still be there. But once all the pros are going to have to move on to the new one because that they're going to they have to compete on the newest game. So yeah. a lot, everyone's going to follow the pros. There's not going to be any more like streams or gameplay or, or uh esports of modern warfare it's all going to be on the new Treyarch game so if they make a new call of duty that and it's i mean i think that in itself just everyone having to jump on it um yeah. i think that's gonna just kill off modern warfare in itself you know yeah and i uh, i did read um some information on on the new black ops game the Treyarch game is it's actually it's a reboot of black ops kind of like how they rebooted modern warfare this year yeah but it's not called Black Ops. It's gonna be called something else, huh. and it's it's set in the Cold War. That's gonna be yeah, interesting. Cold War. So, hmm. you know, they they rebooting Black Ops. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, yeah. I I think what they wanted to do with Warzone was make it a standalone game, but it, it, I mean, it's too tied in with Modern Warfare. You I know, know? that's the thing. Like, it's it's <clears throat> the direct relation. It uses everything Modern Warfare does. So. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's what I thought for the longest time was it was going to be, uh, at least that's what I kept seeing, was it was going to be a standalone title. And, I mean, in a way it is because it is free yeah. to play outside of, like, the multiplayer on Modern Warfare. But it's not standalone because it's you it's built on Modern Warfare. I feel like what, what when I took, when I heard standalone, I thought it was going to be okay. They're going to take, like, all these weapons. They're going to take the best weapons from all the games in the past 10 years all the best perks or whatever, all the best everything, and they're going to throw it all into one game. Kind of like that uh, Call of Duty Online they have for, I think oh. it's in China only. Oh, well, they um, did the same thing with COD Mobile. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. It's It's got everything exactly in there, you know? Is. Like, throw the, throw the ACR in there, throw the Black Ops 2, the MSMC, the, like all yeah. the guns that everyone knows, throw all that into one game. And there's there's your standalone. That's what I thought it was gonna be when I heard standalone. But then yeah. I found out it was a part it was just to add on to Modern Warfare, so Yeah, yeah. But I yeah, I did I, I played my fair share of COD Mobile. Um Yeah. I did dude. But, I played uh, I played for the first couple weeks, but after yeah. that Yeah, it was it was a good game. Um uh, I think it'd have been dope if that was like a legit thing. Um their buying system was kinda whack. Um like you had to pay for everything. Yeah, I didn't know? have any experience with it. I don't know about that. Yeah, well, I, 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 I didn't really buy it. I bought like the little battle pass, but mm -hmm. it uh, that's pretty, that's pretty much it. But uh, mm -hmm. you know, it it was a good idea. It was, I think it was executed well for a mobile game. But I think they no should, doubt. no doubt, they should definitely, you know, take a little bit of that and 
make like an actual game yeah. that way. Maybe would... maybe maybe we'll see something like that after uh after Treyarch. Maybe so, dude. Just make a huge Call of Duty, the best of, and run it for two, three, four years. Consistently update it, add new stuff all the time, add expansions, and make it a make it a long term game. You know. Yeah, that'd be dope. I, would be. Yeah, they definitely. I I think in the long run, I think that's what they need to do. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, who who are we? You know. Yeah, who are we? We're just yeah. some who dudes from Albany, bro. We're just. <laughs> Yeah, some, <laughs> some dudes from the Corona capital of the world. <laughs> Talk about Call of Duty, which I mean, we, bro, we we've been playing Call of Duty for forever. Yeah, you for know? sure, no doubt. My my first first Call of Duty I ever played was World of War. You know, yeah, that was I, good I, I, too, I, bro. It, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I, I have. It was fun great for it. its time. Let's put yeah, it that yeah, way. Yeah, yes, it was yeah. great for its time. Yeah, and then Modern Warfare Two came out the next year and just completely. Oh yeah, completely obliterated just, it. Just dude. completely blew it away. <laughs> Anything you thought was good about World of War, Modern Warfare it, yep. shit on it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh but yeah, you know, maybe maybe in the future they'll do something like that. Um Yeah, well all we can do is wait. Yeah. You uh got the else you wanna add about Call of Duty? I don't think so, man. I think we uh I think we pretty much touched all of it. Think so? Anything you want to add about Valorant? No, I think I've uh I I think I've said my words. Uh, I'll probably be cat if we do the tournament. I'll be I'll be on the sidelines casting it probably. Uh, yeah, me, I, uh, me too. <laughs> I don't I, I don't want to compete with any of those guys as far as the clips that they've been sharing in our chats and stuff. Uh, uh, I I don't want to get anywhere near them. Yeah, they're gonna yeah. they're gonna roast they're gonna toast me. Yeah, I I gotta play it now, dude. I gotta I gotta try it because I. I know I'm going to suck at it, but I got to try it. But anyways, um, with all that being said, I say I, I think this wraps up our first episode. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys stuck through. This is going to be on uh, seem like some list of services, and I believe it'll be on YouTube as well. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, I do want to add, if you got any ideas, we, we want to bring on a guest um, every week. So if you have any suggestions, anybody, anybody we should um, reach out to or, you know, whatever. Anybody think that would be a, be a nice guest on the show? You know, let us know in the comments. Uh, we pretty much have an idea of who all we want to bring on, definitely for the near future. Um, but we're also completely open to suggestions as well. And, right. uh, you know, just, just let us know in the comments. Let us know on Twitter. Let, message us, whatever. Whatever you got to do. Just be like, hey, so-and-so should be on the show. All right. We'll hit them up. We'll yep. see where it goes. We'll put, it, we'll put it in the books. But Yeah, but... Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys stuck around. Um, if you're not already, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Off the Glass GG. Our YouTube is youtube.com slash off the glass. Our Twitch is twitch.tv slash off the glass GG, I believe. That's right. And I believe yeah. the same is for our TikTok as well. Throw the GG at the end. Um, yeah, we are on TikTok, by the way. Uh, yeah, man. We're killing yeah. it, bro. Killing yeah, it on TikTok. TikTok. TikTok's dope. But, anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed. All that being said, uh, I'm going to give myself a little shout-out. And Jake, give himself a little shout-out. You know, follow me, Peacock OTG. I, I'd rather you follow the brand other than myself. But, hey, if you want to follow me too, Peacock OTG. And then uh, That's right. Jake. For me, YouTube.com slash gesture. Uh, I stream like uh, three, four times a week, and I usually upload around three times a week. We'll have uh, all the – if you're watching on YouTube, um, we'll have all the links down in the description if you guys want to check those out. So, Bet. Bet. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. See you next time. Deuces. See ya.